Hey guys, it's me, Gloria. Today I am coming to you with this cute cupcake hot balloon card that I designed in Design Space. You can do it in Cricut Craft Room or you can actually um, do it on your Gypsy too if you have one. And um, so I end up using these two cartridges. I end up using Divine Wedding and uh, Playtime. And then I also use this paper pack from K... Uh, K, K and Company, and this one it is called Classic K McCain McKenna, and the paper that I end up using is this pattern paper right here. So let's get started, guys. My card is going to be an A2 size card, and. So here goes my card base. So my card base is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter, and it's gonna go just like this. So let's start decorating the inside. Now for the inside, I have my pattern paper, which is going to adhere right there in the middle. Gonna go right there. Then I have this black card stock. And this is going to lay right here in the middle. Just like that. And then I have my white piece of cardstock that I already stamped on and the two stamp sets that I end up using because I made my own sentiment. I thought this saying is pretty cute. Okay, and I end up using two of the Scrappy Mom stamp set. This one it is called a Quirky Quote and I use just Cupcake. Then I end up using this one, which is Love Notes, and I use this one that says Love is in the Air, but I just use In the Air. And then I put the two words together, so it says Cupcake. And then Cupcake didn't sound right, so I needed an S. So then I end up taking the S from this Priceless, and I put it at the end of Cupcake to make it say Cupcakes. So it says Cupcakes is in the Air. So now I have my little trim that I end up getting. And I'm going to attach that right there. And then I end up using my My Creative Time with Emma Stitch Grass Dye. And I cut out two pieces. And what I end up doing was I put the dye on the edge of the paper. So it's actually it actually goes like this. Let me see. I got it wrong but it actually goes like this and what I did was cut this so this is the part of the grass and instead of losing this I just cut it down and now I'm just gonna add this to the bottom it's gonna look good right there. And then I'm gonna add the stitch grass border die right on top and there goes my floor well my grass border then I end up using my uh, EK Success uh, Cupcake Punch, which is the cupcake uh, frosting and then the cover. And I did a couple of these cupcakes. So I'm going to add one there, one here, and then two down here. And I'm just going to ram randomly throw them around. So let me get my two-way glue. And I'm going to add that one right there. Let's see if I can pick this one up. Then I'm going to add this one. Right down here. Then these two, I'm just going to lay them down on the grass. 
So one's going to go like underneath on the top. And then this one is going to go on the bottom. Just like that. Okay. I need to clean my tweezers. So there goes the inside of my card. So it says cupcakes is in the air. And I thought it came out really cute, the scene. And this punch right here, I end up using the Optic Martha Stewart Optic Dot Punch. And this is an edge punch. I kind of used a lot of punches and dies today. So, let's start decorating the front of the card. Now, for the front of the card, I have... This black layer. And then I have my white layer. And I end up using my my creative time with Emma rectangle stitch rectangle frames die. Because I wanted the stitching to go around. I don't know if you guys can tell. But um, that's what I wanted. I usually don't use those because it's so much quicker to cut it out. But I wanted something different. I need to start using the stuff that I do have. Sometimes it's hard because then they come out with new stuff that you don't have and you haven't seen for a while. And then here goes my pattern paper. I'm going to lay that right in the middle of the stitches. Of the stitches <laughs> and that's gonna go right there okay so there goes my paper now with the same uh, stitch die I'm cutting out the grass again and I'm gonna add it down here and then I cut out another one And I like the stitching on the edge of the grass. So on the paper too. It's pretty awesome. Okay. And then. I have two more. Cupcakes. That I want to put down. And I'm just going to put them down here on the grass. On the sides. Just like that. And then one more over here. Then I end up using the sun from Mrs. Kate's Cuttables. Which, you know guys, I love this sun. You know, I bought a file from her when I first got my silhouette. And I've been, I haven't even used the other cuts. I just used the sun. The sun is amazing. So here goes my sun. And I cut this out of glitter paper. And this is three quarters of an inch. No, it's an inch. Sorry guys. So now I'm just going to attach that right over here on the edge. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my sun right here on the edge. It's going to look just like that. And then I have a cloud that I use, my medium cloud punch. And for you guys that want to know... If you don't want a whole cloud like this, instead of having a whole cloud like that, you can actually just take the edge of your paper and put it down as close as you would like it on the punch. And then punch it out and then you have a half a cloud. Okay. And then if you like, you can layer it over. You know, you could do all different types of things. Which, that's pretty cool. I like that idea. But no, I'm not going to switch out right now. But anyway, that's a good trick, guys. So, always remember, you could do so many things, different things with your punches, your dies, and stuff like that. It's amazing. So, now I'm just going to take my cloud. And I'm going to add this right under here.
just like that. Then I have another cloud that I want to put underneath my sentiment. And the sentiment that I use, the sky's the limit, it is from my creative time with Emma. And this set is called the sky's the limit. And I just used this one. And what I did was I stamped, you know, I masked it off. I inked it, took the masking tape off, stamped my sentiment. Then wash, you got to make sure you clean your stamp really good. Because then your mask decide that you're already stamped. And then you take... Your other words, you put new masking tape on, you take and you ink your other words, and then you stamp that down, and then you can do them in layers, guys. Okay, so this is coming out so stinking cute. I just love it. Okay, and now I think I'm going to put this cloud right down here. And then I have one more. And then this one, I think I want it. You know, let me hold on on this one really quick. And let me bring you guys down just a tad bit. Okay. Okay, look at how good that's looking already. The sky's the limit. Okay, now... On Playtime, I end up using the cut from the girl that is this cut right here. And I cut her out at two and a quarter. And here she goes right here. So there goes my cut. And I end up using the Peachy King Face Stamp from In the, Car in the Garden 2. And I use the eye that's winking. And I also use my white jelly pen. My uh, glossy accents. And also my Winkostella glitter pen. Or it's a marker. And I put some bling on her shoes. And she have a bling out shirt. And she looks so stinking adorable guys. Focus. Come on. There it goes. Look at how cute she came out. Now, I'm going to adhere her down here, but I don't want to put anything on there yet. I really need to make sure where I'm going to position her at. So, okay guys, so here goes my cupcake hot air balloon. Now, I end up taking out this shape of the cupcake. I used the shadow, and then I joined it. I used, you know... A square and I made them skinny enough and I attached it to the cupcake up here then what I ended up doing was slicing the cup the cupcake in half the the uh, shadow one I cut it in half so I could make the base and then I end up using the layers for the cupcake for the bottom down here and I use glossy accents to kind of bling it out and then I use my Wave, Friskers Wave uh, roller. And as you can see, it has like little tiny detail in the bottom. And I end up using glitter sheets. And I end up putting glossy accents on this. So what I did was cut two hearts out. It came with two hearts. It came out with this one and this one. But I wanted two hearts at the top. And I put the small heart on the bottom. And I put glossy accents all over it. Then I just did the layers to go on top of the shadow. So I'm going to adhere this right here. But like I said, I want to find out where my girl's going to be. And I think I might want my girl. Okay. I want my girl to go... Yeah, I know I want that right there. And my girl just might, can't seem to grab her. Stop running away from me. And I think. She 
she looks good right there. So above the green grass on the bottom. So I'm just going to take my baby girl and I'm just going to lay her flat. And let me see if that's exactly where I want her at. a little bit more up okay right there is perfect so now I'm just gonna press down make sure she is sealed really good Now for the cupcake, like I end up saying, I end up getting it out of the Divine Swirl. Divine Wedding, I'm sorry. And I end up getting the cupcake right here. And I end up cutting out the cupcake size. It was two inches. So, but this came out so adorable. I love how I designed this. You know, because you always see a hot air balloon, just a hot air balloon. And I figured, you know, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to make a hot air cupcake balloon. So now, I think I'm going to end up popping this part up. So let me get my foam tape. Excuse me, guys. Okay. So then now... I'm going to add one of these. And that one's not skinny enough. But I can add it up here. Okay. One is skinny enough, and it'll go right there. And I think I'll make one more skinny one. Because, you know, you got to make sure your layers are even all around, guys. All around. You know, I'm doing much better. The other day when I did that card, I was, I was definitely missing something. And, you know, me coming into the craft room, actually, really, I miss it. This is what I love to do, you know. So, I was kind of jonesing to come back in my craft room. And I am so glad I did because I need to keep my mind occupied and, you know, just busy. Okay, and let me do one more. Right there in the middle. So now that I got my air balloon, my cupcake air balloon, so now I'm just going to adhere it right over here. So now let me take all of this off. Takes a long time to create, guys. There's days that I can make a card quick and make a couple of cards, and then there's days that, oh my god, it takes me hours just to kind of think of an idea. Oh, and I have to do, I definitely have to give out, give out a shout out to one of my YouTubers. Uh, her name is Yvonne. She ended up sending me, uh, which was so sweet because I didn't expect no mail. And then I got a card in the mail, uh, you know, letting me know to take it easy. She's sorry for my loss. And it's a beautiful sympathy card. 
Okay, so now let me put this right here. And that looks good right there. And look at how awesome that card looks. I just love how it looks. Let me show you the card that she sent me, guys. Look at how beautiful the sympathy card is. This is so gorgeous. I just love it. I love this frame right here. And then she just wrote, you know, cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. And she just wanted to let me know that she's sorry for my loss and that, you know, to take it easy, which I just, I, I love this frame right here. This is beautiful. And I like this sticker. I just love it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I so do appreciate it, sweetheart. That was so kind of you to send me a sympathy card. Thank you so much. It really warmed my heart. I could tell you that much, guys. But anyway, guys, here goes my hot air balloon card. And this was really easy and simple. I wish I had knew how to screen record because I will show you how to make this. And it is so awesome. I just love it. So guys, there goes my card for today. Sky's the limit. It says cupcakes are is in the air. And there's just cupcakes floating all over the place. And I just love the colors. They all coordinate with each other. The sun and the grass. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like, head over. Uh... Come follow me on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I have all the links down below and also up on in my channel. It gives you a direct button straight to my page. So guys, I so do appreciate your, your support. Thumbs up if you like and let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.